In this video, I'm going to show you how to save multiple toolpaths for a single headed machine. So if you take a look at the toolpaths here, click the plus sign next to toolpaths, and you can see that I have five toolpaths that I used in the previous video for the automatic tool changer. Now I've reset all of the tool numbers back to one, and if you select toolpaths, we select save toolpaths you can see all of the toolpaths on the right hand side to save if I wish to just remove one of these let's say the drilling I can just move that to the left hand side and it would not post that so I would need to move that back if I wish to post it I can move this up as you can see it's at the bottom so it's going to be posted after the profile if I wanted to move that up just click this arrow and it will move that upwards. If I wanted to remove all of these toolpaths I can select this button here and that will remove all of the toolpaths over onto the left hand side and none will be saved. So what I'm going to do is to click on the file name and I'm going to change it to multiple toolpath and I'm going to save in my g-code folder which is saved within my favorites here. I can browse to a, set, a different folder if I wish to. Here are all the posts available to ArtCam. So we have well over 200 posts and I'm just going to use a generic G code for that. Now, if I wish to save these two separate files, I need to click here under save options to save toolpaths to separate files. So if I click save now, and I open up my G code. Here you can see that this has saved multiple toolpath one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got all of the different toolpaths saved within there. Now I may already know what these toolpaths actually are, but I don't really know what it's going to be doing or what tool it's going to be using. So what I'm going to do is to append the toolpath details to file names and then click save. So if I open up my G code again, you can see I now have a toolpath, multiple toolpath, toolpath one, which says area clear and it's using an end mill of 12 millimeters. So if I open that up, there you can see all of the G code ready to be sent to my machine.